A quick announcement for if you want to take your trading to the next level. I recently started a profitable trading signal group in which I show you and I send signals of all of my trades. If you want to join this group or if you're interested in that, go check out the first link down in the description or in the pinned comment. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this update and new video on Luna Classic. Wanted to make a quick update on that. It's uh, it's uh, it's it's almost uh, it almost has a week left uh, February until we get the new Binance burn of Luna Classic, which is highly anticipated, at least by me. And um, I wanted to talk about that. Wanted to talk about in general whether the burn is still coming, um, because there has been some some radio silence, right? So we'll talk about that. But apart from that, we'll also talk about the technicals, what has happened in the Afco in in the um, in the last couple of days. And what can you and what can you expect so let's get right into it right now if you take a look at luna classic itself it's been pretty stable i mean it hasn't been as bullish as bitcoin of course in the last uh, in the last month uh, but bitcoin has been fairly bearish in the last 24 hours and uh, normally luna classic is then not as bearish uh, it has been bearish but it's um i mean we've only dropped down by about um by about like five percent which compared to other altcoins um, it's not a lot. I mean, Luna Classic usually is pretty isolated in moves like this, which is, uh, well, pretty much a blessing and a curse, right? Um, but all right, so Luna Classic has been uh, has been pretty stable. Last analysis, what I said is that we were in this kind of consolidation between 18,000 and I said 16,000, but we can easily drag this down a little bit more towards this level right here, around 15,700. Uh, which is still the case. I mean, right now we're at a we're at a significant support level, so I do think we'll find some support from here and get higher into this consolidation. Uh, but this is just the way we've been. We've ju just been consolidating practically. Uh, practically, you could argue that we've been consolidating since the beginning of January. Obviously, we had some big bullish moves in the meanwhile, but still. Um, but yeah, from this level we're at right now at around 16,000, I do think, unless Bitcoin crashes or something, I do think we'll be able to uh, trend up again towards at least like this level around 17,500. Then from there, we'll probably drop down again. The, the big thing is, is that I am expecting still at the end of uh, at the end of February that we'll have some bullish momentum because of the Binance burn. And I'll delete this real quick for, for just that it looks better. Um, however, and I wanted your 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 updates and your knowledge on, on that as well. The, the last thing we heard from it from Binance I believe it's, it's still what they said at the end of December, right? So that the uh, so that the January burn would be postponed. Excuse me, I'm going to put this down a little bit. That the January burn would be postponed to March the 1st. And I don't think we've heard anything since that. I mean, what we have seen, obviously, is, uh, is some of these requests passing. The quorum has also been reached and it, it's just been implemented. I think, Or I'm not sure if it has been implemented. I think so. Um, so, so this has happened. So there's no reason why the Binance, um, why the Binance uh, burn would not go through. But since we haven't heard from from them for quite some time, it could be that it would be po postponed. All right. So if it's still coming, I'm sure we'll get an update next week. Then I do expect a rally all the way. We we could reach fairly high. I mean, my price target is between eighteen thousand six hundred and nineteen thousand four hundred. But I'm not um, I'm not saying we cannot get higher than that. Um, on the other hand, if it's actually postponed, I think that's going to be received fairly bearish. And even though I think we're at a great support right now, um, that could actually cause us to drop down to really the lower bound of our consolidation around 15,600. And that would in, in general be bad, right? I mean, uh, that would be a dent in the whole relationship, I guess, at least between Luna Classic and Binance. Um, but all right, it's waiting for that. If I miss any news, please let me know. Um, but for now, this is my, uh, my update and my take on Luna Classic. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.